Okay, Kyvin Gatson here at the C3. First things first, my favorite move to you starting off was, was the Gatson. Yeah. And why is it called the Gatson? Well, it's because you hit it in the NCAA final right. against Kyle Snyder. Right. For the pin. Right. A highlight reel of the, of the, of the finals yeah, that year. It was. It was pretty good. It was cool. Now, who did I tell you that it reminded me of, though? Kevin Randleman. Okay. Uh, Knowing rest that. In peace. Re rest in peace, right? Yes. He died the day that my son was actually born. Really? And I grew up looking up, my brothers were teammates of him in Ohio right. State. One of the best athletes ever, though. Yeah, freaking. Probably the best athlete ever to, to wrestle Division One, in my opinion. You think so? That's my opinion. He's a good UFC fighter, too. Yeah, he was a good UFC fighter. Yeah. yeah. But uh, knowing that you got a move named after yourself, man. I call it the Gats when I see people hit a step around from now on. What's that like, knowing that you made some history? Like I guess that? it's like self proclaimed. <laughs> but uh, I don't have a problem with it. It was like, it was all in good fun. Uh, I remember probably I, was, I started hitting that basically that senior year and um, I was messing around with coach uh, Jackson at the time and was like hey you know like hey how do I get this you know like I'm gonna I'm name it the Gatson or whatever and uh, I was like the Gatson Glide or whatever and he was like no that's the, no no it's not he's like the only way you can name it a move after yourself is if you hit it on the big stage and um, at that point I was gonna be done wrestling so the biggest stage for me at that point was um, the NCAA finals and I was able to um, uh, come through I guess with it so a crazy year for you, you know, Coach Jackson's out at Iowa State. Right. Um, you finished your graduate degree. Congratulations, first off. Thank you. That's what I wanted to start telling you, but that that's, you know, that's what all this is about. You know, yeah. using wrestling as a vehicle to, to get an education. Uh, sports administration? Um, higher education, leadership, and learning. So, uh, I started it my senior year of college. So that's when I started my grad degree, because I, I graduated with my undergrad in August before my final year of eligibility. And then, I took the Olympic year off. I felt like I really needed to focus on that task. Um, and I knew that coming off the Olympic year, this was going to be the year to do it. Like, if you're going to get, get it done and get it done with the focus that you need to get it done with, this was going to be the year to do it. And so it was a really big year of growth for me because there's so much changing in my life. I got married, I'm a father now, finishing school, coaching change. Um, all these different things were hitting me, right? And then also just the growth that it was gonna take for me to um, get somewhere even close to, you know, my freestyle, you know, potential. And so it was, a, it was a lot, but it was a lot of growth that was needed for me, so. I didn't even realize you had a child and yeah. got married. Those are the two major things. Right. I, I guess those other things become minor at that point then, don't yeah. they? Well, yeah, for sure, because I mean, I don't know if, if some people saw my interview at um, after the open, right? I was just, I was kind of like overwhelmed, I guess, a little bit, and I kind of like broke down on, on camera. I was like, you know, they're like, what, is it, what does it feel for you? And I'm like, well, you know, I kind of like miss my daughter. You know, I like, never really felt these emotions before. It's, uh, it's weird. <laughs> um, but I, I realized, you know, like, you know, grown men cry, it's all right to cry, like I'm a tough guy, like I don't have to prove to anybody I'm tough, right? So I'm like, there's times where, you know, you have to show emotion. I think that kind of um, was cool for my wife and my daughter to see. So um, yeah, you know, it is what it is, but I'll be tough when I have to be tough. So you trained through all this crazy stuff that's happened, you know, life-changing experience for a young, early 20s guy. Yeah, just and turned 25 in July. That's incredible, right? So. So then you make the finals of the world team trials in the best right. two out of three against Snyder. And Snyder, and seems like up. he seems like he's going to another level, yeah. you know, and there's no doubt about it. You did pin him in the NCAA finals, but right. do you feel like, you know, that year off, might he, he, he gained a lot on you in that year? I just think he's, he's at a good place right now. He's at a good place for himself. You know, he won a world title in 2015, and then he um, went on to win the Olympics last year, right? So I think he's at just a, a great place for him. Um, made the world team this year, like, like you said. Uh, he beat me up pretty good. He handled me. Um, I believe that I was prepared for those matches. Um, and obviously, uh, the results showed me otherwise. So it was just, for me, it was about going back to the drawing board and figuring out, you know, what needs to change if I'm going to be a, a world team member and then a world champion, right? So for me, it was about analyzing what happened, why did it happen, and then moving forward. The most I guess the thing I'm, I'm really excited about is that, you know, now that I'm done with grad school, my main focus with the Cyclone Regional Training Center is to be the best in the world. Like, I'm not, you know, taking any classes anymore. All I will be doing is um, really focusing on training. So I'm excited to see 
um, the type of growth that I can have with, with that opportunity. You know, you look at this turnover with the staff, you're obviously still in Ames, you know, right. working. Where are you at with Kevin Dresser, Zadik, St. John, the staff that they brought in? Where are you? Where do you fit in there? How do you fit? Will you stay? Dom left. Right. Dom um, went to, to, to Lincoln. My boy, my boy went to Lincoln. He went you know, to Lincoln. where are you? Where are you at with it? I'm, I'm good. I'm in, a, I'm in a good place. I think right now uh, the biggest thing for me was what's best for myself and for my family. And, Right now, that's the best uh, move for my family and myself. And um, my daughter starts school in second grade on Wednesday. And so she's nervous about that because we're coming up from Des Moines. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's a lot, it's different staff. And so what I felt like it meant for me was that, you know, okay, so I've been under this staff. I've learned a lot from this staff. Um, KJ was like a father, is like a father figure to me, right? And so I was like, what can I take from this staff, right? And then what can I take from this other staff? What can I put it, can I put it together, um, mesh it together, and then make it work? And so that's what I'm really looking forward to seeing is um, how this year goes um, with the Cyclone Regional Training Center. I think um, Coach Zadik will be overseeing most of my training. And so it'll be, um, it'll be an interesting year. They're like your frenemies now, aren't they? Right. <laughs> They're like your frenemies. So we had, we had um, we had a, a CRTC fundraiser last night in Humble, so I like I drove from Ames to Humble, then I drove back to Ames last night, and I drove up here this morning, and I was I had to talk on stage or whatever, and I was like, you know, basically Metcalf, I hated you as a kid. Um, Derek and I grew up together, so you know, it was we were cool, but like Zadig didn't like you either. Um, and the only like um, basically memory I had of Dresser was like my sophomore year at Midlands. I was wrestling a Virginia Tech guy, and this is like my first real tournament back, like first real tournament after all the shoulder surgeries and stuff like that. And so I'm wrestling. I'm the only guy left on, in, um, in the tournament from Iowa State, second day, and I'm beating the Virginia Tech guy probably by like three or four points, and then um, something switches, and he's like winning or it's tied, right? And so Dresser's like, get him, you know. He, I'm watching video on this, and he's like, get after him, right, telling this guy that, and then all of a sudden, like, I just flip, like, a switch in my head. I'm like, no, dude, like, not today, right? Like, not today. And, like, uh, I, like, take their guy down, let him up, take him down again. And Jester kind of just, like, looks over at his assistant and scratches his head. Like, like, what did, did I say something? You know, like, why why this kid just wake up? You know, I thought we had him. And so I kind of made a joke about that last night that um, he's probably happy that we're on the same team um, now. So it's, it's good for me. Um, I think people, the fans, are excited about Iowa State wrestling and, the possibilities with this new staff and I appreciate the old staff obviously I was a uh, I'm a KJ guy right um, but I think uh, for my growth going forward um, it'll be interesting to see how everything pans out you know with this new staff. Is he out in Colorado as KJ? He is he's the developmental coach so he just um, helped the Team USA Junior World Team win a, a world title right so would they have three champs Mark Hall, Gable Stevenson and who was the Dayton? Dayton Fix, shoot or shoot, right? So they had a they had a blast, and and the, the best thing about it for me was just genuinely seeing Coach Jackson smile, like genuinely seeing how happy he was being in the freestyle environment, being able to help you know these young men grow as not just um, wrestlers but just as men, you know. And I think that's something I'm always gonna um, appreciate about him and our relationship, and so. I'm happy for him. Coming to the C3 event, you know, you're a club coach right now, or you're a club athlete, club rather. Athlete, yeah. um, being a club athlete, what are you looking for when you come to something like this? You know, you are, you're from right down the road, 25 minutes down the road, but right. what, what are you thinking, you know, what, what kid should be kids thinking when they come to an event like this? What should they get out of it? What do you want to see out of kids? Well, the biggest thing I think is that they just are coming to grow themselves, right? They're coming to learn more wrestling, meet coaches, and network and build opportunities right build build their brand so that they have opportunities in the future whether it's you know from a division two division three a division one or an nai school just wrestling in general just growing that um and so i think from my standpoint i'm i'm just here to show some technique and um have a good time with the kids i love working with um our youth that's my undergrad was um, child and family services with a youth um, option. You have a um, gift, by the way. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. You really do. It's like, it's I told you, longest line. Long, longest, longest line of handshakes, handshakes yeah. of the whole thing, man. Everybody was really appreciative. 
Uh, having the gift, where do you think the gift came from? To um, work with people, you know? I'm not sure. Because I'm, I'm, I'm really like an introvert, but people don't believe that about me. I don't believe that one bit. Yeah. but like, I'm not calling I, you a liar to your face, but I, I just don't believe when it. I, but when I go home, like, I cannot say anything, and I'd be fine. But then my wife wants to talk, so I have to talk, right? <laughs> my daughter wants to talk, so I have to talk. But uh, I don't know. My dad was a real a talker and a, a people's person. Like, we would go to the store, and I remember him just talking to strangers and doing all that. Um, but I don't know. But I just lo I love people. I, I genuinely, genuinely love to see other people succeed. Like, I think I told um, somebody once, like, it was tough, you know, my senior year when it being a national um, champion, but knowing that none of my other teammates that, you know, were right along with me throughout that whole season, none of them all American, right? So I was like, you know, I give back that um, that national championship for a team, team one because it means more, you know, it means that you were part of something, you know, bigger than yourself. Your leadership was instrumental in helping other people grow and just collaborate, right? But a lot of people don't, I don't know if they understand like how much it takes, because it took a whole team for me to win a national title. It's gonna take a whole team and family and love and support for me to win a world title, to make a world team, um, to be an Olympic champion. It takes a whole team of people and a whole team of support. So to everybody that supported me, my mom, my wife, um, my daughter, my coaches, um, I'm just really appreciative of them. And um, if I can give any um, knowledge back to um, the next generation, then that's, what I do, right? Mom's 25 minutes down the road. You're going to see her. I'm going to cut this short. You got anything else for me? Um, go Cyclones. I'm excited about the future of the program. And um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Gatson Strong. But I probably won't be on it that much. But, you know, check me out. <laughs> Thanks for the time. Thanks, Dad.